Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantabulous day. Let me fix this just real quick. I'm trying to get this camera positioning. I moved my tripod and oh, what a mess. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so today we are making boutonnieres and corsages for homecoming. My bonus son came to me and he said, hey, do you think you can make our corsage and our boutonniere for homecoming? They are outrageously priced. Um, we were kind of hoping you would help us out. Do you think that's something you can do? And I said, I think so. I, I mean, I do flower arrangements all the time, so why not, right? So we went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's together, and she it, they're wearing black, okay, all black, but they're going to accent with a grayish blue. So she brought her heels with her with us, and we matched the blue that she wanted, and I honestly have had the funnest time here creating the boutonniere. I have the boutonniere done. I went ahead that night, came home, put it together so that I would have an idea in my head. I did buy floral tape, this black floral tape with um, glitter in it, but honestly, it's a piece of poo. Do not waste your money. I went ahead and covered it with my chiffon ribbon in the black, and it was so forgiving, so it worked out just perfect. So this is the inspiration that I'm going to go off on. I really should take the time to look up and see what, what boutonniere and corsages go for. I will do that once I get started, but I just wanted to do this intro here. Um, I, you guys, I'm right in the middle of doing a craft room revamp. I'm on vacation right now, and I've spent probably two to three days on this stuff or on these, uh, this craft room revamp. And this has to be done by next weekend and I go back to work on Thursday. So I wanted to get this done and I was hoping getting crafty and getting my mojo going and having to clean up after this mess would hopefully get me back into the groove of finishing this craft room. But don't you worry, I'm doing this video, I'm doing a video on all of it. I'm really going for more instead of cutesy and decorative, to more functional because I've really grown out of my craft room. I probably have about five or six bags of trash and um, two or three boxes full to go to Goodwill. You know, back in the day when I first started crafting about 10 to 11 years ago, I was buying stuff that was, I was more quality or quantity over quality. And as I moved on in my craft, crafty career, um, I've realized that quant quality um, quality over quantity is definitely best. So I saved all that crap and it's got to go. But anyways, we picked up these blue ones at Michael's. They were 40% off. They're originally um, $9.99. I pulled some flowers that I had for my stash. We also went into the his and her section because those are probably about the perfect size. And we picked up a few of these stems that are going to work out great. We also picked up these because they were the perfect color we were looking for. Um, I actually, from the Little Miss shop, picked up these bulbs, too. I thought they would be fun to add into it, but I didn't use it on the boutonniere. And then we picked up these stems from Michaels as well. So with the lighter blue, the gray blue, and the navy blue, and the cream, that just all pops, right? It's going to look so pretty. I'm so excited. I'm glad I'm doing it. Um, $1.99 for the boutonniere pins. Not bad. And then they also had at Hobby Lobby and their his and hers, um, the corsage bracelet. So I'm going to try to build off this little guy right here, but I know that these are going to be pokey. So I think I'm going to lay some felt down underneath, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to put this video on fast forward. We're going to talk through it after I do it. We'll do a voiceover and um, I'm going to pull the flowers out that I definitely want to use. And I'm going to use this guy as my inspo, and inspo to match. So I'm going to go ahead and set him right up here so I can see what he looks like. And set him in front of me. And I'm going to get to going. And I'll just record this with you guys, okay? All right, let's do this in fast mode, y'all. So on my Cricut, I cut out D and C in 2023. I wanted to make them a little bit more custom. I knew that I could take iron-on vinyl onto chiffon ribbon and attach it to the corsage and boutonniere, and it would customize it. She loved that idea when I brought it up, so I wanted to make sure that I followed through. And I just used silver glitter iron-on vinyl, just something that I had in my stash along with the chiffon ribbon, because the ribbon takes the vinyl so well. 
took my little mini press and bing bang boom there we go now i accidentally deleted the majority of the video of me putting this together which i do apologize because it was probably over an hour worth of footage and it was just a little bit too long but as you can tell i have a good base going with my corsage and i'm just adding the ribbons to it now as you can tell, the little blue sprigs in the back are so cute. I just love the way it turns out. I really hope that she loves it. Um, I watched a couple of different tutorials. I had the little corsage thingy that a lot of people just attach theirs to, but I wanted to use a little bit of felt and I needed a base to glue everything to. So I just cut out a little patch of felt and glued everything to it and wanted to make sure that I added a lot of... Um, bits and bobs is what i call them but it's just flower sprigs that i clipped off of all the flowers that i showed you guys because to me that's what makes a flower cluster um, really pop and brings it to the next level so here i'm trying it on make sure it doesn't scratch it or do anything like that now i'm going to add the little wristlet to it so i need to trim off any extra felt that may be on there and i was seeing a couple holes so i went to fill those in so i'm just adding a few little things to you know carry from the top to the bottom so it's more cohesive and i just love the way that it turns out you guys wait until you see this it is gorgeous and <clears throat> I'm just tearing everything apart. I just need little tiny pieces of each little sprig, you know. And eventually, I tried to go put that wristlet on. And I used hot glue for the short-term hold and then super glue for the long-term hold. Y'all, I had no idea how long it took for that super glue to work. And I got it all over my fingers. I was not happy about it. In fact, I still got super glue on my fingers. So right now I'm thinking, oh yeah, I got it. It's on there. It's on there. It's on there. Good. Here's that super glue, which if I could have got it to sit longer, it would have been fine. But I actually end up using hot glue and fabric. Okay, you guys, we got the finished product. Finally, it really did take me quite a bit of time. The boutonniere took me probably, I'd say maybe um, 20 minutes, but unfortunately their corsage really did take a lot more time than I anticipated, to be honest with you. Um, I think it just, I over was overthinking it and that's what ended up happening. But this is the beautiful corsage. It says D and C for Dylan and Claire in 2023. Um, I asked her if that's what she, if I told her I could do it with the Cricut and she's like, oh my gosh, yeah, I think she really liked that idea. So there it is in all its glory. I went ahead and made sure that I put it on my wrist and gave it the good old shake test just to make sure no flowers came off. You know, I know they're going to be getting it on the dance floor probably. So I like how the ribbon hits the, the wrist. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I do, I was thinking maybe bringing the ribbon down a little bit, but maybe not. What do we think? Oh, so cute. And then this is the matching boutonniere. I think it looks really, really good together. I hope she likes them as much as I do. Um, I really put a lot of, a lot of time, effort and everything else into it. And then I did use that wristlet. I end up using hot glue and Fabri-Tac. Um, I tried to use that super glue and got all over my fingers and then it didn't dry in time. I don't know if it would have been a good idea or not. But anyways, that's how they turned out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm going to get back onto my craft room. I still got so much work to do. So until next time, you guys, I will talk with you later. Let me know what you think down below. Bye-bye now.